we are going to present about the summary and response of motivating low-level students. This presentation is presented by Samuel Timotheus and Vina Veronica. Powell argues that to motivate low-level students to communicate, teachers should not have to explain everything to the students. Instead, give more puzzles and mysteries. Like Powell did in his introduction, just show some words and ask the students or audience to guess what it is. It is better for teachers to be unclear, so they pretend that they do not know, so that students have reasons why they should communicate to the teacher. Teachers should maximize anticipation as it is the same as learning. This means that teachers should give chance for students to try answering and give their opinion. By giving chance and appreciating their answers, teacher will make students realize that they have read something. In so doing, students can be more active as they realize that whatever they say has meaning. Paul's main points of his presentations are First, create puzzles and mysteries where students are enabled to try. Second, be valuable so they have set reasons to participate. Third, don't explain so that they can develop their critical thinking. Fourth, help students work things out by trusting them to make choices. Fifth, personalize. Make it personal for students so that they can engage more. Six, have fun so that they can enjoy learning. And last, maximize participation so they can actively engage in classroom communication. This topic is really meaningful because in teaching, teacher plays an important role as teacher does everything to control teaching and learning process. As this council stated that teacher always repeat instructions, give much explanations, and always talk much more than students do in the classroom. Because they have a perception that students didn't know what they, they do, do not know. So we as teachers have to explain things that are really basic so the students can know what they know and they can get the exact information for our subject. However, in Paul's idea, uh, teachers should be more passive and let students be, be more active. We agree with Paul's idea because if the teachers do all work and explain the whole materials, the students cannot express themselves as they just receive the information from the teacher. It is the same as when we study at university and the lecturer gives explanation until the smallest detail, then at the end of the class, he or she asks if the students have any questions. In most cases, we will not ask anything because it is indeed clear for us. As a result, there is less participation from the students as we just accept the teacher's point of view, whatever it is. However, Paul argues that if students participate less, they will not learn a lot. It is also supported by British Council that teachers should reduce their talk time explaining the materials for many reasons. First, if teacher explain and talks too much, students will be bored. It will reduce the opportunity of learning as they lose their concentration. Second, if teachers give students information that they could be finding out for themselves, such as vocabulary items, they may not be able to identify whether the students have really understood or just remember what they have said. Third, if the teacher takes the dominant role in classroom discourse in terms of initiating the topic, allocating turns and evaluating comments, the students do not have responsibility for their own learning because they just follow the teacher. As a result, they have no enough opportunities for sharing their opinion and developing the communicating speaking skill. So, there are pros and cons in Paul's idea. So, the pros are 
students can learn important communicative and collaborative skills through group work. So in a group, they can work as a team and therefore they can communicate to share their opinions to other members. Second one is students learn to direct their own learning, ask questions and complete tasks independently. By giving students chance to make their own learning, they can make choices and decisions freely as they do not have to always follow the teacher. So for the cons, uh, the first one, teacher must attempt to manage all students' activities at once, which can be difficult when students are working on different stages of the same materials. And also the second one, because the teacher doesn't explain to all students at once, students may miss important information that they have to know about the materials. It is relevant to Indonesia because teachers in Indonesia tend to explain everything to the students and expect them to be more motivated in learning. In our opinion, actually it is a kind of method that can reduce students' participation. This is because students cannot trigger their minds to think as the materials are explained by teacher. As a result, students are accustomed to just listening to what teachers say and do not want to actively participate in the classroom. In our opinion, it is hard to implement what Paul has suggested. It is because the culture of Indonesian or ASEAN students tend to be passive and quiet. It will make this method harder to implement to Indonesian students. Furthermore, Indonesian or ASEAN students prefer more on teacher-centered style of teaching because of their previous educational and cultural background, according to Wang. This can be proven from our own experience, particularly at schools where we just listen to the teacher's explanation and do the activities related to it. For these reasons, we cannot just directly switch to implement the method proposed by Paul of motivating low-level students to communicate at one time. However, we can adapt and implement it gradually. So there are some activities can be done based on Paul's idea in the classroom. So first one is drilling. So drilling like in Paul's presentation in Korea Tissol. So he will act like an alien. He will act like someone who didn't know anything about this earth. And he asks about a pen, about a chair, and etc. And Paul will say like a pen, a thing that so he always repeating something like that and and through that simple conversation when the students asked by Paul again they will instantly use the related pronoun to answer as a result teachers do not have to explain everything to the students as they have learned by themselves so for the activities that we suggested for Paul's idea is actually like a student presentation so, presentation is one of the active learning that can support Paul's idea about the last talking teacher, such as teaching. And because by giving a presentation, uh, students will try to analyze and master the topics or material themselves. They may also look for other resources to support the arguments, give examples, etc. Um, moreover, they can be more critical as they are required to answer questions related to the presentations. Also, Jeff Pitti also claims that uh, students learning by doing, this means that they will apply and develop the understanding of what they have learned. It can be seen that in order to answer questions, they will attempt to analyze and process the knowledge they have. Uh, this is called constructivism. And this method can make them get the benefits as the following. So the first one, create deeper learning and higher achievement. And second one, create better recall by students. And third one, develop high all the listening skills in students. And fourth one, they are more enjoyed by students. 
So this is the end of our presentations. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Ciao.